Hey guys, this is Garnet's Ruby. A couple days ago, I went to see Moana, and I'm still sinking it in. Now, the thing that creeped me out the most was not the lava... Oh, by the way, before I say anything, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in here, so if you don't want to be spoiled, which is pretty inevitable because, like, it's been out for a few weeks, I guess. So, if you don't want to be spoiled, click off one of these videos and click on to another video. Also, leave a like, comment, maybe subscribe, leave the little bell for notifications. Alright, here we go. The thing that scared me the most was Tamatora. Tamatora? I don't know, his accent's weird. Anyway, but my favorite part of the movie had to be Shiny. Now, it wasn't just about him bragging about himself, but it was for the most part. Except for the glow-in-the-dark scene. Here's the line and more clarification. Um, this is just because I looked up a lyric, lyric versions. Okay, so it's like, what is it? Okay. Far, it's far from the ones who abandon you chasing the humans that may I think I said that wrong but it's far from the ones who abandon you chasing the love for these humans that made you feel wanted basically now later on in the movie we realized that Maui was the moment his parents looked at him he was thrown out and the gods found him when he gave when they gave him the magical fish hook and he became a semi demi mini god sorry I just couldn't help it so, what is he trying to do? I think it's like a form of torture for Maui breaking off his leg. That would have been some great crap leg. Like, that is huge. And he seems like torturing him on a level where someone could die. And he's just threw Moana in a cage. But Maui, I swear, he should come out with bruises and scars and death. Now, it was very creepy, so let me replay that part for you to see it. This video was provided by uh, Vivo Videos. Let's see. I'm going to show you the entire glow-in-the-dark scene, starting with the clam doing that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try the entire scene. Like, this scene is creepy. You can see why that freaked me out. I mean, seriously. The entire song was just freaky. He ate his grandmother. He did this with his neck and Moana just held hers. He's he's the creepiest villain. What's in that lava monster? But what was he trying to prove? Theory time. So in payback to Maui breaking off his legs, he eats him. Well, not really until Moana distracts him. But he's trying to prove that Temator had something he never had. Family. Because, well, he had a grandma. And his very first tattoo was of his family throwing him out. Which I actually thought was the llama monster for most of the movie. And looking back at this, I can't help but feel sorry for the self-absorbed Maui. But Tamator? Tell me what you think in the comment sections below. What is wrong with him? And thank you for watching. Have a good one.